Just like signs and traffic signals, the yellow and white lines painted on highways are an important traffic control device and require regular maintenance to keep travelers safe. YDOT's 10 striping crews spend the summer season working overtime, repainting nearly 7,000 miles of roadways. The life of a typical line is probably a year, maybe two years at most. You know, we put a lot of sand and gravel on the road uh, to keep people safe in the winter, and, and that abrasion combined with the, the traffic driving on it, you know, doesn't spell a long life for, for traffic lines. Striping can only be done on dry pavement with warm temperatures and wind light enough to not blow away reflective glass beads sprayed onto the wet paint. Striping convoys are led by a long, slow-moving truck in excess of 50,000 pounds. The operation moves at 15 miles an hour, so it's very slow in relation to the, you know, sometimes high-speed traffic next to it, and that can spell a, a safety danger not only for the public, but also for our crews out there. Use caution around striping crews and only pass when safe and legal to do so. Also, be aware that even though the paint dries quickly, it can still be wet for several hundred yards behind the striper. Give the striper a little bit of space. Um, try not to drive through the wet line if possible. It does make a mess and it's difficult to get off of, off of your vehicle. Reminding you to move over and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.